All right, welcome to mutation number 35, cremation, this time with Zagara. P3 Apex Predator. The mutators are Void Reanimators and Scorched Earth. So the Void Reanimators are gonna come around and reanimate any of the uh, Amon's units, not the infested. So uh, you gotta pay attention to where you kill the attack waves. This first overlord is gonna come out here in case the first attack wave comes uh, down this side. So I'll have vision of the like reanimators in case they appear there. I'm going to start with the standard build order. Uh, so 9 gas, 11 pool. Um, then afterwards you get drones plus uh, extractor and overlord, second overlord. Baneling nest right when uh, spawning pool is finished. And then we will build, uh, like keep droning and then build an evolution chamber and get a lair. The second overlord is going to go right here just for vision. I'm going to use these two links because I want to trigger the first ship. I don't want to uh, wait the extra minute, so it is important that I uh, I do this. I successfully do this. I burrow so that it doesn't get seen and it runs away. And this guy is just gonna run around in circles until Zagara comes out. Zagara's here. He can die, and now we can kill stuff. So Zagara can handle the first uh, ship by herself with just her and the hunterlings, kill this one. Ideally, you want to kill the tunnels before any units spawn, because if no units spawn, then uh, the void reanimators will come much later. But this one, I messed up. I'm supposed to come over here and then shoot it, or kill that building earlier on. So since I missed it and some units spawn, a void reanimator will come pretty soon. I'm basically just gonna use my, uh, use the hunter killers on cooldown, and then Use banelings when I can. Since I um, since I triggered the ship earlier, I don't have to um, I don't have to wait as long, and I'm just gonna be here finishing off the enemies. Uh, I took this expansion uh, one because these buildings weren't destroyed yet, and two because I'm gonna fight this ship next. So I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the two bio launcher upgrades soon. So here I'm go not going to kill them here. I want to kill them as close to my buildings as I can because then the void reanimators will have to come farther. If I kill them over here, then the void reanimators will respawn them over here and I won't even notice. So it's important that I try to kill them as close to things in my vision as possible. These spine crawlers are here to um, hit whatever reanimators come from the top. Okay, now uh, I, it's time to drone up. In the meantime, I can clear this area, just summon hunter killers on cooldown. Here I'm getting both the bio launcher upgrades. So here we're getting bio launchers. Just drone up, get lots of gas. Here, just like last time, I want to kill them as far away as possible. Here I'm going to trigger. I'm going to trigger the ship. Here, uh, this guy, uh, he came around from the south, so I had to kill him. Uh, like that, four bio launchers here. Right now, they don't have the range, unfortunately. So this will finish in about 15 seconds, and then I'll have enough range to hit the other stuff. Uh, for this ship, Banshees come here, so I'm gonna, I made this uh, Overseer. And yeah, so now stuff's here. I'm gonna use the Roach Drop, and then just, oh, look, upgrade's done. All right, so. I think I killed it with a bow launcher and I didn't even realize it. But I'm gonna keep shooting. Get free shots, splash damage, see this guy, better kill him. So I wasn't paying attention, but I see oh they're respawning, so I better kill it soon. The next attack wave comes at thirteen o'clock. So well thirteen minutes, not thirteen o'clock. And the plan is to get lots and lots of queens and then uh make spine crawlers. Uh, make make walls around the ships. So here I'm gonna just gonna destroy this. I actually should have destroyed this base. Um, I forgot about this, but here I'm gonna I'm just gonna uh, drop the roaches here and then hit as much as I can. What I did in a failed run at first was I dropped. Uh, I had scourge over here. So 
if you can get Scourge all the way here before 13 minutes, that's actually even better because you kill them and they won't even have a chance to respawn. But now they're just like really annoying. So what I like to do for uh, Void Reanimators is I drop Static Defense in front of where the fights took place. So I want to put some stuff here because there, a fight took place here and I want to kill them before they even get close. So they can get, they get, the Void Randomers, they don't attack. So they're just gonna hit stuff for free. Here, uh, I lost two queens there, stupidly. But here I'm gonna build two drones. They're just gonna be like fat walls. I'm gonna try to spread as much creep as I can as well because I want to be able to build evolution chambers, not, uh, I don't want to spend money on hatcheries. Evolution chambers are cheaper. So now, uh, I'm getting ready for this attack. I think I triggered the ship. Yes, I triggered the ship, so it's only two minutes, not three. And I have some units here, lots of banelings. Every circling that I make, I will eventually turn them into banelings. I have some scourge here, so I can hit the hybrid nemesis and then just drop lots of stuff here. 40 something seconds left. Okay. So just build hunter killers, summon hunter killers on cooldown. Next, I have a bunch of scourge, and then I looked for my scourge. Okay, the scourge will fight the attack wave right here, so they cannot drop. They cannot drop. Right here, kill them. Nothing came out. No void reanimators will come. Okay, so, uh,. I forgot to burrow this, but continue on. We're going to build lots of static D here because we want to kill the um, we want to kill the void reanimators. A fight took place here. Next, I'm going to the next ship is over here, so I'm going to clear this area and I'm going to build lots of stuff here. So I'm getting lots of queens and I'm going to spread creep to the west. Here there was a void reanimator, so I killed it and I'm going to four push these so that uh, they will die before they reanimate stuff. The Scourge here, exactly as I said earlier, they're just gonna camp here. Ships are gonna come here, they're just gonna die. They just die, no chance of respawning. The next ship will come around 23 minutes, so I have ch I have time to prepare. I have 12 queens here, and uh, they're just gonna hang out. And in the meantime, these drones just build lots, build lots of walls and bio launchers. By the way, I have no time. I, I just did not do the bonuses because there's no time. Here, I un I deep tunneled to this side because I thought of like I can clear the map. If you clear the map, the void reanimators will stop coming. See here. I decide to do a roach drop and just clear this whole area. Just clear it out as much as I can. Okay, I didn't realize I didn't finish it, but I'm paying attention to the time because 23 minutes they're gonna start. So I better trigger it before that time comes. I also built some bio launchers here and some walls and some things to draw aggro so the bio launchers won't get hit. And they just get free shots. Here, free shots. I have all my queens on a hot, these queens on a hotkey. And I should be producing queens elsewhere as well, but basically I'm gonna be spamming that T. Build a spore crawler here. This one I kind of missed, so I hit only like most of these, I, and I missed the rest. But I have four bio launchers, which is cool because I can hit this stuff here. Back here in the fight, the Sagara just keeps summoning hunter killers, roach drops, and then use all this uh, energy. So control the bio launchers as best as I can. I want to heal. I want to be healing, but uh, I saw that the time is like four seconds left, so I'm just like, let's get Sagara out of here, and then uh, deal with. The other stuff. This part can die. So there are two ghosts at home. To kill the kill one dude, but that that's not a big deal. And uh, there's now one more ship. So I thought, huh, I should clear the map. But then, and the next ship is over here. Oh, I have to spread the creep all the way there. That's that kind of sucks. But then I just thought, why do I have to do that? I don't have. To, I can just trigger this last ship. So. I'm going to first finish off this wave, kill this wave, and then here do what I need to do, wall up. Here kill off this wave, attack wave is coming, here evil there, wall up, wall up as much as I can, just lots of beef. 
I didn't even realize this was coming, but we got him. Okay, and then kill these guys. Wall up as much HP as possible. So 750 versus 1500. This is only 75 minerals versus 300. Just still not worth it. And I decided I'm just going to let that ship die. Just let it die. I'm triggering this one. Two minutes on this ship. And then that ship is going to die. I built some bio, launcher, uh, bio launchers here. And I'm going to actually get to use these as well. So these are going to stall a lot. And uh, so here's the last fight. Just you uh, manually control the bio launchers. Hit whatever big fat stuff I can. Damage them. In the meantime, I'll click on this. So 1500 HP. Zagara. He, she will hang out here just summoning hunter killers and throwing banelings at people. Ideally, I wanted to uh, I want to have some queens here to do, to heal, but I couldn't. So I saw, hey, 10 seconds left, just stall. Stall. And we made it. Base expo died, but who cares? We made it.